So here we are, and um, this is how my online lessons actually look like. Uh, my students are very familiar with this place and these camera angles and everything. Uh, we have monthly lessons on uh, georgecollege.com, and um, each lesson actually it's very, very unique and um, has to do with a lot more than just you know double bass and blast beats. These video lessons um, are exclusively for sickdrummer.com, and I will make sure to give you a few uh, different ideas on your practicing routine and your drumming in general. So let's start with a very important concept I have concerning double bass drumming, and uh, this is what I call leading side and slave side. Since I'm right-handed and I play in a right-handed kit, uh, this will be my leading side and this will be my slave side. This will be the leading hand and this will be the slave hand. And this will be my leading foot and this my slave foot. So, uh, talking about double bass now, uh, since this is my leading foot, it's doing most of the job and I use my left foot mostly on uh, double bass patterns which actually is following the right foot. That means this one will be on the beat. And my left foot is going to stay on the upbeat uh, following the right foot. So. Okay. Although it's very important to have um, a stronger left side, or you know, some people call it the weak side, uh, and there are multiple exercises for this. Um, for example, you know, you can play everything with your left foot. To me, though, it's even more important to have this difference, you know, like my right side is stronger because I do most of the job with this and either way on double bass patterns my left foot has to follow the right foot, okay? So if I work on it much more and, you know, make it stronger and actually train it how to lead the beat, okay? Then every time I play a double bass pattern, you know, the left foot will feel like, you know, it's leading also. So that will lead me right here. Okay? So I don't believe both feet should be equal. I think this has to be stronger and this has to be um, trained, you know, to follow the right foot for patterns. For example, anything I play... I have a few examples for you in the PDF file, um, a few different exercises which uh, will help you actually to get this idea and then of course you can come up with your own. Another great exercise to make our leading side even stronger will be to play 8 notes and 16 notes uh, per 1 bar, 2 bars, 4 bars or 8 bars. The difference will be, I'm going to play all the 8 notes with one foot. So that means basically that our right foot is doing all the job and stays on the beat all the time, okay?
Here's a short example of what I'm talking about. Okay, and as you will see, I'm taking a very short break at the very end of um, the last bar, you know, before I change to 16th, for example, from 8th notes. So if I play 8th notes, <laughs> this is my break, okay? And I do this only to prepare my body, you know, for uh, the 16th, okay? Since for 16 notes, both of my feet are <laughs> just on the air, okay? So that's a simple balance trick, so make sure you have this little pose like the PDF file, okay? So let's check a few examples. There are hundreds of variations you can practice the lyric side and slave side concept and of course one will be the blast beat. So if I break it slow on the blast beat part, you will see my right foot and my right hand at this point, they lead the beat. They stay locked on the beat while our left hand is on the upbeat. So this part is very, very important to me. Okay? 
if this is really locked, you know, our left side, uh, either, you know, foot or hand, will definitely follow a lot easier. For the bomb blast, we have the same thing, you know, uh, 60 note unisons. But still, our right side is on the beat, okay? So to me, what's really important is this part to be dead locked on the beat.